The holidays are coming and I see this every single year. You don't have a plan whatsoever. All you do, but your plan is, I'll be fine, I'm not gonna overeat, I'm not gonna overindulge, I'm not gonna overdo it. And it's January 5th, you have 10 extra pounds, mostly in your waistline. What is going on guys, Boban here and on this channel we talk about being fit, staying fit and just improving our lives in every possible way and usually the holidays are not your friend when it comes to being fit or staying fit but they are your friend when it comes to being a good brother, a good son or a daughter, a good colleague and even though it is very important to stay fit, be lean, be in a good shape, stay healthy it is also very important to have fun and spend some good quality time with the people you love. I'm not gonna suggest you skip Christmas and not go to your mom's or the company's Christmas party, uh, nor I'm gonna suggest that you bring broccoli in a Tupperware instead of cookies. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my three top tips how to find balance and get through the holidays with joy and pretty much the same number on the scale. And if you stick to the end of this video, I'm gonna also share a bonus tip, which in my opinion is probably the best tip of them all. So make sure you hang on. Plan and prepare. My favorite quote of all time is, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Again, planning is not bringing broccoli instead of snacks, but actually figuring out how the whole holiday season is going to go. For a few days before the holidays, drop your calories down. If you watched any of my videos, you know that I weigh myself every single morning and then I compare my weekly averages. There's a reason for that. It's because your weight fluctuates from day to day and it's not about how much you weigh today versus tomorrow. It's about your weekly averages. It's the same thing with your macros. You're not just supposed to hit your daily macros. You need to make sure you hit your weekly macros. It's not like this is something I recommend you do all the time but for me in my opinion this is by far the best approach you can take for the holidays lower your calories a few days before the holidays and do the same thing a few days after don't go too extreme just give yourself enough calories so you don't have to worry over the cookies you're gonna eat or not having dinner like a normal person with everybody have some cake it's totally fine no counting calories no counting macros Think about it, if you drop your calories for about 500 before the holiday, let's say two days before Christmas, and then you do the same two days after Christmas, you have 2000 calories to overeat on. So these are 2000 calories that you don't have to care about, that's extra from what you usually eat on a day. If you do a bit of cardio that you don't usually do, that's extra calories you get to eat. Basically, this is the power of knowing your macros and counting your calories. The average person gains about one to five pounds during the holidays. So if you do what I just suggested, you're not gonna be the average person and you're probably not gonna add any weight. Tip number two is look at the bigger picture. I said you're probably not gonna add any weight, but this is if you look at the bigger picture at your weekly averages. When you hop on the scale the morning after a big feast with the family, especially if you had something to drink, and maybe a lot, the scale is gonna show a few extra pounds right away. Usually when this happens, people freak out, they have a nervous breakdown, they're like, oh my God, I've been tracking macros, I've been watching my diet, I've been exercising and whatnot, and in one day, three pounds, like fuck it, I'm not gonna do this, and then they overeat. But this is not the truth, this is mostly water weight. You've had alcohol, you've had a lot of salty foods, and you overate. So your body is going to retain more water than usual. Also, you've been eating a healthy, you've been eating moderate, and now you overate, not a lot of healthy foods in there, so your body is in shock. You need to give it some time to go back to normal. This few weigh-ins after a lot of eating are not going to be the full picture. Just be aware of this, do not freak out, and just stick to the plan. If you keep the bigger picture in mind, you'll know that you'll drop another 500 calories for a few days. After the holidays, you'll do a bit of cardio, your body will balance itself, and instead of a few extra pounds from the holidays, all you're gonna be left off with are some good memories. The tip number three is holidays, not the days around the holidays. 
Now, if your diet doesn't include eating a whole pie in one sitting, which I'm sure it doesn't, you don't have to do it just because your sister brought it. Don't limit yourself on Christmas or New Year's Eve or whatever holiday you celebrate, but the days around the holidays itself are just regular days. I know Karen brought cookies to work, there was this Christmas party on the weekend, Starbucks just introduced a special Christmas frappuccino that's a thousand calories and it is super easy to give in. Go back to tip number one, plan. If there is a party that you want to attend, put it on the calendar. If Starbucks is introducing a new Christmas drink that you really were excited for, go for it. But put things in perspective and balance it out. This way, you're not gonna let yourself overdo it, you're gonna limit the times you overindulge, and when you do overindulge, you're not gonna hate yourself and you can just move on. Oh, and don't forget, New Year is not a new you. I mean, it can be, but we tend to think of the New Year like some kind of a reset. The five pounds you're gonna add over the holidays, you're bringing those with you into the New Year. Don't forget that. Are you guys ready for the bonus tip? I know I am. Before we do the bonus tip, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video. And you guessed it, it's the like button. So make sure you smash it and let's go back to the video. The bonus tip is bring your own booze. Now, if you're someone who's a water drinker, who doesn't drink, good for you. But if you're someone who likes to drink, you better make sure you have something that's macro friendly because it's gonna make the biggest difference. There might be beer, wine, rum punch, sangria and whatnot to this party. So you might be like, hey, there's enough liquor there, I'm good. But these are all things that are loaded with sugar and calories. What you wanna be drinking is liquor plus soda or a diet drink of some sort. Vodka, soda and a lime. A whiskey and a diet Sprite or 7-Up. Uh, rum and diet Coke or Pepsi. These are the things that you wanna be drinking, low calorie stuff. Alcohol is probably the easiest way for you to pack a bunch of calories and not even notice it and that's the last thing you want. If you're watching this, it means you stayed to the end of the video. I highly, highly appreciate it. Please support the channel by liking this video. Subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell. I will see you next Thursday. Until then, happy holidays.